but the time has finally come for me to reveal my true identity to you. Now, considering how dramatic you're being, I almost feel as though you're having fun with this. Okay. Ah, uh, ha ha. Ta -da! Uh, I was I right? I think I called that. I think I called that. I think I called that. Yeah. <laughs> Tis I, Thomas, your favorite instructor. This is uh, don't make don't don't make assumptions. Don't make assumptions. What? Instructor Thomas Lysander. It's certainly been a while since you've enjoyed the bliss of one of my enthralling lessons, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been a while. It's gonna be a while. Let's let's go, guys. We're out of here. I trust you've been doing well. Yeah, well enough to leave. Why? Why are you of all people here? Wait, no, the better question is, why were you in disguise in the first place? An excellent question. And, fortunately, one with a simple answer as well. You see, I simply wanted to avoid any trouble that might arise if anyone were to place me as one of Thor's instructors. I must be a master of disguise, because it works so well that no one ever suspected me. No, no, no. I saw your hair color. I mean, you did, you did good with the hood. You did with the hood. I, I didn't... You just saw your bangs at the side. That's really all we saw. It's surprising. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you're the person. But I... Okay, I, yeah, I think you must have had a voice. Because I think my problem that I thought, like, no, it can't be him. Because that didn't sound like his voice at all. Or something. I guess it was the voice actor just like, I'm going to be really deep now and dramatic to all to see make him seem like someone else. I... I, I, I think I, I need a minute to process all of this. So, you're the one who helped us back at the Twin Dragons Bridge. Indeed, twas I. My goal was to aid you as covertly as I could manage, but there's no need to lurk in the shadows any longer. I pledge my support, my life, my love. From now on, you can sleep easier at night knowing I'll be right there. Uh, I need an adult. I am an adult. No, you're not. No, you're not anymore. No, 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 not if you're going to say shit like that. Okay, isn't this all a bit sudden? Though, I, I suppose it would be helpful to have another instructor on board, but still... Uh. After gladly welcoming the new allies on board, me and the rest of Class 7 took flight once again. To assess the situation in Erebonia. <laughs> well Great. done! Was there a, uh, there might have been a, there might have been a way for me to get more AP in the, in the dungeon. I'm so proud of you, Rain! Apparently I did well. Cool. I'd never have gotten an S before. Cool. Hey, oh my goodness, what are you gonna... What, what are you even gonna do here? Oh my, this ship is simply spectacular. Something to captivate the eye at every turn. I've been dying to board the nonsense for a while, uh, quite some time now, so being here now is a dream come true. Oh, right. Oh, my dreams were dashed the second I learned that the suspicious man turned out to be Instructor Thomas. <laughs> I know how you feel. So much for a super cool action hero. I don't know, he's always come across as an airhead to me, but maybe there's more to him than I thought. Instructor, what exactly made you leave Trista? Actually, it was Principal Van Dyke. He wanted me to look out for all the students that had fled the academy. Make sure they're alright, covertly lend them a hand if they are in a pickle, that sort of thing. Really? You know... It was through the principle that George and I were able to reunite with everyone, too. Hmm, the more time goes on, the more people re uh, realize I've been looking out for us. 
Tell me about it. We have so much to be thankful for. <laughs> Make sure you never forget that. Regardless, now that we've taken care of things at Twin Dragon's Bridge, I propose we resume traveling around and gathering information. Works for me. And thanks to our operation being a complete success, we should be able to land at Kaldek and the bridge, too. Just like Yusa said, let's get back to gathering information and helping out, uh, out those in need. Hmm. Got any more requests for us, Naka? Yep, Prince Oliver sent along some more, so feel free to take a look. Okay, I'll make a mech out of you. I'd like to put your Divine Knight skills to the test. Hmm, okay. Okay, cool. From Nightheart. Terrible news, Reen! A malevolent worm has swallowed up Toa whole! What will the nonsense do without its darling marshmallow mascot? Okay, so that was a fabrication, but think. What if she had been swallowed? You'd surely do your best to kill that monster, no? Oh, okay. Yeah. Probably. I'd probably put it off a little bit, though. The outdoor, baths area, uh, the outdoor bath area has been a host of variety of strange things lately. While this isn't an urgent request, I would really appreciate if you come help us investigate why. For further details, please speak to me at the front desk of the Phoenix Wings. Weird, but okay. Oh, we've got all kinds of different ones this time. I certainly wasn't expecting to see one from Major Nightheart. Especially one involving Val. I would wonder what he wants. I'm sure I'll elaborate once we're there. If we can take care of um, that and the extermination request, we should be okay. Uh, these all look like so much fun! Can, can I come this time? Can I? Oh, sure. I guess everyone gets their save just when they're like always going to be... When they get to be locked in. It's a game forcing you to use, uh, use everyone, basically. You do know this isn't a game, right? <laughs> well, it's not like she can't hold her own in a fight. Why not? Anyway, let's get started. Okay, that's what I figured. You should be the Gaius at this time. With a much more helpful than Gaius Gaius. Uh, Becky's Trade Shop. Cool. Oh, okay, it's one of the trade... Okay. It's basic... Okay, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. That's the same. It's the same thing we've had for quite some time. What's the other instructor going to be doing, then? Nothing? Wait, where... Where did Mint go? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Mint, stop leaving your post. Huh. You really got in the hang of this observing thing. <laughs> I know, right? I just look forward and I keep my eyes open. Blinking is, like, so easy not to do. I don't know what it is. I mean... Sorry, I, I sort of just read that, that in mind. It's like, I'm really good at this observing thing. I don't know what it is, but I'm really good at it. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm really good at it. No, she's not saying that, though. I don't know what it is. Some stuff just comes naturally to me. Like pulling pranks and pulling pranks. Give, in, uh, give me a few more days and I'll have the scoop on all kinds of naughty escapades happening on the surface. Nonsense wasn't designed to help you peep, you know. But it doesn't hurt if she can. <laughs> Just you wait, Marine. A few more days, yep. We were here in the ship to help the people. Vivi, not invade the privacy. What the fuck is Mint? I gotta track her down. Horrible things are happening. Okay. We have the location of all the students here, right? Okay, a bunch of highway ones and then Monk. Rescuing Fiona is its own reward. But I also feel as though it would help give me a much needed confidence boost. We made a real contribution to the war this time, and it feels like we've actually had an impact on the fate of the nation. <laughs> Next time I start losing my nerve, I'll just think back and listen how strong we really are. Yeah, that's good. Oh, are you gonna practice? Since this war broke out, I haven't had any time to practice anything on my own. My archery's still sharp for obvious reasons, but my lacrosse skills have gone down the drain. I can't wait to get back to the academy and start playing again. My club was great for that. We all compete with each other and encourage each other to get better instead of focusing on ourselves. That's why I want to take Thor's back as soon as possible. I want my life to be like that again. Haha, <laughs> now you're talking, Elisa. But if you want to do that, you're going to need a whole lot more practice, so you better keep it up. Alright. You know, I probably should try this. Yeah. Just to see what it's like. Okay, I probably don't want to actually use S-Crafts in this. Let me show you why I'm called the per- Win without using arts. Oh, cool. 
That's crafts aren't arts. That's I can do this. Okay. 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 You're gonna die. Oh It's my turn. Okay. Curiosity. Okay, so at 200 CP, that's when I get the plus 50%. That's just the upgrade to it. Okay. Well, I don't really need to use it now, but... Time to begin! Pure breath of the goddess! Reside in my music and heal my friends! Finale! I appreciate it. Thanks. That's pretty cool. I like that. It really fits him. And it was... It was a bit less subtle than his normal attack. Oh, no his normal problem. s craft, his original one. You're mine. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I probably could have done much better at that. Not bad. I can appreciate the shotgun approach. Outside of class, I ask questions <laughs> later. Oh my. I've never heard that one before. That was pretty good. Yeah, oh, level one. Thanks, I guess. Nice work. I didn't think this uh I didn't think this would give you any trouble. Uh I'm so ashamed. So while you have these, just a little treat for me to keep you going. Mind you, if I had been able to use arts and had known that I wouldn't have been able to use arts beforehand, I would have formed my team differently, but yeah. I guess it's a warm up. The challenges are only going to get tough from here, so you better not fall behind in your training. Yeah, maybe. One day. One day. Long, long into the future. Oh, oh, oh I see you're all set up. Huh. Wasn't sure what to expect when setting up here, but it's actually not too bad. Might even be better than the stalls at the Grand Market. Pretty sure these facilities are uh, state of the art by any standard. She must really like those stalls. So, what are you planning on selling here, anyways? Yeah, I got a bunch of rare stuff I grabbed, the uh, grabbed at the Grand Market. I need to learn a thing or two about dealing in the market, though, so we'll be exchanging items instead of using Mira. Taking a page out of Mitch's book, huh? Uh, I don't mind having a second pawn shop outside of Trista. Well, given that you've taken the time to set all this up, it'd be downright wrong of me not to take use of it, right? Yeah, game. I wonder if I won't take use of it. I won't take use of it. Unless you have, like, some... Um... You might have some... Stuff like this. Million board. Snowboard with a picture of Million. <laughs> I just want to go up to Elisa with the Elisa one. It's like, hey, Elisa. I, I, don't you love me? I have a board with your face on it. That's so fucking creepy. Pictures of Elise and Alphan on it. Oh my goodness, all of these are so... Oh, coloring. Oh! A bike coloring that incorporates pictures of... Okay, the boards are a little creepy too. Hey, Elise. I know you love me, Alphan. I know you love me. I have both your faces on this. Because I can't choose. You're both so great. No, I don't know. That's so... That incorporates pictures of Elisa. Probably best not you uh, best not to be used in public places. Oh god, I have to see what this is like. You know, I'm gonna get the board too, just to fucking see what it's like. Okay. Game room, here I come. You know what? I'm going to let these surprise me as I get to them, as I make my way down. I'm going to talk to people normally like I was planning to do. Oh, you too. Eucilium. Milsis? Hmm, I don't know. I'm relieved that we were able to put an end to my father's foolishness. However, I'm relieved that we were able to... Um, I'm also relieved that there were many in the provincial army who felt the pangs of guilt at having to obey his orders. <laughs> well... Provincial armies are all about pride and elegance, or at least that's what they think, uh, like to think they're about. No matter how you dress it up, taking hostages demonstrates neither of those things. I think they realize that. It's difficult just to believe my father was so foolhardy as to not. He seems to be growing impatient, and that impatience is only growing more pronounced by the day. I can't help but wonder what my brother thinks of his behavior. Ah, uh, no point in getting too worked up over it. 
If he does something stupid again, we'll just have to mess it uh, mess up for him like we did this time. Well, she's right about that. If someone's planning and uh, planning something that we need to stop in the stop. That's exactly what we'll do. That's what we have the nonsense for, right? That strikes me as an overly optimistic outlook, but I see your point. Regardless, as much as I like to think that he'll calm down, I doubt we'll be able to be that fortunate. We'll need to remain vigilant. Haha, <laughs> he just needs to relax. Besides, I'll keep everyone safe if it comes down to it. Piece of cake. You only get one turn of invulnerability, Milliam. Remember that. Please remember that. Hey, Alfin! I bought something weird. I haven't even seen it yet. I wasn't expecting to find you here, uh, your highness. <laughs> Selina and I were just having a nice little chat. You know, girl talk. I mean, we've grown ever so close since we first met. It's always nice to spend time relaxing with your friends. Uh, I thank you not to put words in my mouth. Uh, we've only even known each other for about half a month. But that's plenty of time to develop a deep and abiding affection that'll stand the test of time. Besides, we've been fortunate enough to end up in this airship together, so why not take the chance to get a little closer? I think we're destined to be wonderful friends from the moment we washed Reen's back together in Emer. I did no such thing. How? Wow. wow. She even got Selene on the ropes. We're just elephants are real natural at this. Ah, that's what, that's what makes her great. She just knows how to throw me off. Between her and her brother, I'm inclined to believe the Imperial family's bloodline is nothing but weirdos. Which is great, by the way. You're probably the exception rather than the rule. At least I hope so. I want to meet their father. I want to meet, uh, Cedric. I bet they're awesome. Hey, don't drop it. It's a long fall. I can still hardly believe that we were able to rescue Fiona. The Imperial Army in the state that it's in, there's no guarantee of her safety, but her chances seem way better now. Hopefully, with my worries off my mind, I can, I can even be more helpful to you all. It's always good to hear. Glad to have you back in high spirits, Elliot. Oh god, Machius. Oh, no, don't, don't look at the boards. Oh god, that's so fucking creepy. Why would anyone want... There's only room for two others, so those other two... Wait, so... so so there would be one more board I assume I can get from beating stuff. And then the million. Oh, God, don't look, guys. Please, don't look. Don't look. Please. You haven't noticed yet, have you? I've got to say, seeing Instructor uh, Thomas pop out like that really threw me for a loop. But Macy managed to last this long without getting himself in, uh, in way over his head. Relieved, sure, but still amazed. I know sometimes it... I seem like I just hate the guy, but I don't, really. I just find him hard to deal with. Uh, times like these, I wish Nightheart were here, so I could leave him in the hot seat while I made my escape. Yeah, that sounds like what you usually did. I didn't even say anything back. I was just like, that's Sarah. That's Sarah, all right. Uh, Kaldic might be free of the Alliance's control, but uh, that doesn't mean it's safe. The 4th Division using Twin Dragon's Bridge as the base, it very well might be, uh, become a war zone before long. I said that. I said that. I know we already have a lot, of, uh, a lot to keep track of, but we should try to keep an eye on it if we can. Yeah, yeah, true. Okay. Time to play. Yeah, I should probably get you up to five, shouldn't I, Elisa? Let's get started. Go on, draw a card. After you, then. <laughs> I won. Fuck. 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 I didn't even mean to. I I pressed X just to advance to the thing, and then I played it and. Oh, we can go above five now? What do you know? Huh. Time to power up! That was not a good choice. Oh no! It doubled all of yours? Oh. Ugh, I'll so get you for that! Fuck. That is OP as fuck. I can't win. I'll so get you for that. I can't win this. <laughs> Look at me go. That's not strategic. That's fucking OP. Oh, fuck you too. Don't pick force. 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 Ooh, good. I'll just go ahead and, you know. Oh, didn't see that coming. Oh, good. Oh, that would have been a. That would have been a bad one to end on. 
Mirror! Really? You're playing that now? Yes, I am. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, because it's a fucking OP! Uh, uh, no, I... If you have that card, and you're remotely intelligent, and they don't blast it out of your hand, you're gonna win. That's basically everything to it. Everything to it. <laughs> Power! What did I say? An excellent duel. What did I say? Oh. Fucking. Pay. There's no point to this game anymore. You're gonna win if you have that card. Guess we'd better draw again. Guess we'd better draw again. You're first, I guess. Looks like I win. I did it again. I was just trying to advance. I was just trying to advance. God fucking damn, I'm losing effort. I didn't lose to Elliot. I can take some solace in that. Oh, well. Monica, um, ever since you brought me aboard, I've been trying to figure out what to do to play my part. Right. Where were you stationed before? Hmm. Did I ever look for you? I might not have done that. I might- Oh, I never came on board to figure that out. So I started thinking about what I was good at, and it hit me. Lunchboxes. Super nice lunchboxes that, really uh, that could really lift people's spirits. So I'm trying to improve my skills and make the best lunchboxes I can. That's an interesting idea. I can see it working for you, Monica. I'm sure everybody will uh, love sampling what you come up with. Heck, I'm getting hungry already. Can't wait. <laughs> Glad to hear, because I need your help. You mind bringing me some really superb dishes for reference? Superb? Superb how? Anything that uh, you taste is like, wow, that's superb will do. That'll help me expand my lunchbox repertoire. Given that you carry your own recipe book around everywhere, I thought it'd be good. Uh, you'd be a perfect person to ask. What do you say? Willing to help me out? Well, if it, well, if it leads to building a better lunchbox, I'm on board. I stumble upon to anything superb, I'll bring it straight to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Should be fun for both of us. Did I? Okay. I didn't think I had any, but... Do you have any? I mean, these look superb. Yeah! Thank you so very much. It looks delicious. So really help me make my lunchboxes as delicious as possible. Let me know if you have any more. Okay. I don't know... How are these lunchboxes going to do anything? The liberation of Celtic is a tremendous step forward in our journey to ease the suffering of the people of Erebonia. Though I must say, I was nostalgic to be back there again. Uh, makes me want to refresh myself the fundamentals of my training, which, come to think of it, might prove valuable. Yeah, I suppose. I've never really done that myself. I've never looked back at- Oh, you're in, you're in here. Oh, uh, Emma. Don't make a sound, or he might notice us. I'm helping Instructor Thomas sort through all the research materials he brought with him. Uh, which means I'll probably be here for a very, very long time. I managed to gather all this while the nation's at war is beyond me. Oh my. Ah, it's so wonderful to be on board. As if the ship itself wasn't fascinating enough, you've got to find knights, a witch, and even a talking cat on board. I need to say hello from the famous uh, to the famous Mr. Valimar soon, too. After all, I've heard so much about him. Uh, I don't think there are many people in the world as carefree as Instructor Thomas. Oh my goodness. And this is going to be his place, I suppose. Okay. Oh god, I'm afraid. Uh, no. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. No, 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 that's so weird. Why would I want that? <laughs> that's such a Japanese thing, too. Oh my. No. Nope. 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 There's nothing quite like the sight of a Divine Knight in battle. I haven't felt the urge to paint in some time, but watching you and Val fight was downright inspiring. When we finally make it back to Thor's, I know that'll be the first thing I'll be doing. Honestly, nice to be, uh, nice to even be back in the club room. Lots of good memories in there. I'm sure. Ah, uh, did we lose our guy? I guess we lost our guy. The guy who was in here. Might have been a while ago, but still. Oh, okay, I sort of skipped through that, but she was talking about how amazing the craftsmanship on Val was, and Reen wondered what, um, who made, who made Val, basically. 
He's not from the Dark Ages, right? I think they specifically said that he's technology um, post-dating the Dark Ages because you could see some of the designs to it that made um, that were not consistent with what they seen from the Dark Ages. Oh, here you are. George and I have been doing some work on the Nonsense's engines. The most important parts of the airship, so they've got to be kept in absolutely perfect shape. That's right, which is why I'm hoping you don't drop another wrench right in between the two most delicate parts. Jeez, that almost gave me a heart attack. Other than that, though, you did a great job. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Poor George. Poor fucking George. <laughs> oh, we got a new one. Uh, attacks craft sometimes deal critical damage. Yep. Oh, my, okay. That sounds pretty good. Increases damage dealt by criticals. Multiply by 1.75 instead of 1.5. Uh, I'm not sure who I put that on, but I definitely want to buy that. Oh, wait, actually, what was it called? Kuma. Oh, I've read that before. Okay, I think someone pointed out that you could buy that. Yeah, I sort of did not realize that's what they were talking about. Oh, my goodness, you have the coloring, too. I almost don't want to buy the sidecar unit, because I can get more scenes like I had with Elisa. <laughs> Yellow coloring. Oh, might be better than... Might be better, but still. So I've been thinking about it, and I'm sort of thinking that the Clear Moon Gem might be a good thing to put on someone that I don't use for, like, attacks very often. Like, like on, um, or for EP attacks very often. So, like, Laura, it might be really good on. It's what I'm thinking. Um, I mean, it might not, it might not be the best thing in the world for her, but it seems like it would be a good idea. Like, if she's the last one standing, she can bring everyone back. That sort of thing. I'm not really going to use her EP anyways outside of Invigorate, I guess. Hmm. Now this is, I mean, this is definitely better for V than some of the other options, but I'm sort of kind of thinking that, um, like, does it just have, like, much better stats overall? The defense and art defense are really low on this. So this is a little bit better in terms of just like being... Oh, okay, I, I should mention this. I got interrupted last time, so this is me, like, in a little while later. But, um... Um... This is a bit more stable. It doesn't have as much EP or HP. Hmm... Trying to, like, for fee, is this better? Because it's not like I'm going to be able to use art... Eh. Yeah, that's probably better for Fee. And then Gaius, I can I can give him Thor like I was initially going to do way back when. Hopefully this is a nice yellow. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. For a bike, that's not a bad yellow. It's very mustard and ketchup -y, but <laughs> it could have been much worse. The red accents really do make it look better. If it was just... If it was just yellow, oh man, that would have been bad. That would have been horrible. Ah, you know, travel to Caldeck. And the Naria Nature Park. Hmm. Hmm. That's a bit of an odd place to be able to go. But okay. Twin Dragon's Bridge. Travel. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Okay, that makes sense. Da, da, da. So many places I can go now. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Grele Fortress because I got. Leave it to me. I got someone I need to get. Wait, no. Would Monk be at? Would they still be at the proving grounds or? I can't find it. Can't find it anywhere. How could I go and lose something so precious? Oh, there you are, Monk. Oh, <laughs> you guys. Hi. Do you need something from me? Pretty busy at the moment, as you can see. Well, we have a favor to ask you, but... Mm, we were trying to ask you last time, too, but... I guess we uh, really didn't get a chance to uh, get the chance. Rain explained. Oh, so the ones and the nonsense are you guys. Does seem to be in the news a lot lately. Soldiers here were talking about it, too. <laughs> I-7 really is amazing. Ha, <laughs> we really haven't done that much. Right now, we need all help we can possibly get. Would you be willing to come with us? Mm, I can't, unfortunately. Got some kind of something I 
really need to do here first? Maybe I should ask you guys, actually. Seeing as you're here and all. Ask us. Is it something we could help with? Have you got a serious problem or something? Yeah, lost something really important, you see. It's so important to me that I've barely been able to sleep since losing it. I've been trying my best to find it, but I'm not getting anywhere. Wow, that really does sound like it must be something important. Could you tell us what it is you lost? A sticker. Uh, that's it. What do you mean, that's it? A sticker from Bentime, a famous radio show that's been broadcast since the start of the war. An incredibly valuable items that you get for having your submissions read on air with pictures of Misty on them. Oh! Come to think of it, she sent one to me, didn't she? I don't have time for such frivolous nonsense. Yes, we'd best get going. Oh, wait a minute, I, I wasn't joking about... I wasn't joking about how important it is to me. It's a super special golden sticker, too. Only those whose submission was chosen as the best of the week received them. I've been trying to win one for so long, and just before the show ended, I finally did it. It means the world to me. I see. So please, why don't you help me look for it? And if uh, I find that, I'd be happily, uh, happy to join you on the nonsense. I'll do anything. Fine. <laughs> All right, then. It's really, if it's really that important to you, we'll help you look. Uh, really? Yeah, I suppose we could spare the time. I'd feel a bit guilty about just leaving you like this. So, you have any idea where you might have dropped it? I wish I did. At the very least, I know I had it with me when I arrived here at this camp. Can't find it anywhere here, though. Which makes me wonder whether it might have been got, uh, gotten mixed into stuff. Uh, the 4th Division were moving to the Twin Dragons Bridge. That sounds like a possibility. Gives us a starting point, at least. Well, <laughs> good luck. By the way, the serial number on the front is G40. Don't forget that. Well, okay, I won't. Well, let's head over to the Twin Dragons Bridge, I guess. It means we won't be able to fake it. Not to, though, I will know. A commemorative sticker with a serial number on it. Probably not the best collectible item, just aesthetically. So, there's supposed to be some students along the East Celtic Highway that... I think that's them. Let's ride! So if I'm gonna go to Twin Dragons Bridge, I might as well pick them up on the way over there. Settle down, settle down. Don't worry. I'll make sure to find him soon enough. Oh, should I get horses? Should I get Usus? Excuse me, but aren't you Paula from the Riding Club? <laughs> Wait, did I bring... Did I bring Usus? I don't remember... Did I... I guess I brought Usus. Hmm. <laughs> I think that I'd run into the likes of you here. Usus? And you even got the rest of Class 7 with you. You weren't here the last time we were in Celtic, so... Guess you just got here recently? Uh, that's right, I've only been here for a few days now. What about you guys? Mind telling me why you're here? Sure thing. Reen explained. I heard all about the Twin Dragons Bridge and Celtic from uh, being freed from the Provincial Army, but wow. Who would have thought you guys were behind both of them? <laughs> it's not like we were directly responsible for either, though. Have you been traveling on your own? No, nope, I've got the horses with me. Lambert left me in charge of them after Thor's was taken over by the Noble Alliance. I'm glad he did, too. Having a horse comes in handy when escaping any potential battlegrounds. It's a little bit harder when you're a single person trying to ride two horses, though. They're all from Nord, aren't they? There's one thing that strikes me as odd about the situation, however. If Lambert entrusted you with the Academy's horses, shouldn't Whitcomb be here as well? Oh, uh, well. To tell the truth, I actually lost track of him on the way here. He's been so uppity ever since he... I uh, was separated from Lambert. He just ran right off when my back was turned. That's not good. We have no idea how long things will stay peaceful around here. I do know where he is, but catching him is a whole nother story. Yeah, so, sorry. I, I wish I could help you, but I can't leave until I bring him back safely. Hmm, is there anything we can do to help her out? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So how about we bring him back for you? You said you know where he is. Really? But you don't have other things to take care of? I have no qualms assisting a fellow member of the Riding Club. You already have his general location, correct? You, sis. Thanks a ton. This'll be a big help. I lost track of him on the Western Highway. I'm pretty sure he's still around there, too. I'm counting on you to bring him back. Got it. You wait here in the meantime. Let's head to the Western Highway, then. Uh, I need to go over there. Anyways. Because there's some stuff in Trista. Well, on the Trista Eastern Highway for more so, uh, some more students. 
I'll pick him up when I'm headed over there. For now, Twin, Bra uh, Twin Dragon's Bridge. I just saw an unopened chest. Are all the chests now unopened in the area? No, I just missed it in the first time, apparently. <laughs> Whoops-a-daddle.